Alright, what's going on YouTube? BDG back at it again, bringing you guys another lit GT Online glitch. And in today's video, guys, I'll be showing you how to make millions and millions and millions of dollars on GT Online. So if that sounds lit to you, make sure to leave a like on this video, drop a comment down below, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. And before we get into this video, guys, I just want to let y'all know, man, as y'all can see right here, we're wearing taco hats, man, and that's because we the taco gang. And if y'all don't know what that is, man, go ahead and check the card on the screen now. So you can go basically go ahead and join the gang. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, to do this glitch, guys, you're going to need a friend. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm using one of my members right now because he's going to help me do the glitch so I can show you how to make millions of dollars. So like I said, man, if y'all trying to join Taco Game, man, go check out that video. And let's go ahead and get on to the glitch, man. So first things first, man, you got to check the requirements on the screen. I'm about to put them on the screen right now. Go ahead and take a screenshot. Do whatever you got to do to get those requirements because you are going to need these requirements, like I said. And you're going to have to really focus on what I'm saying throughout the whole video. So make sure you watch it from beginning to end. But let's go ahead and get on to the glitch. So... Basically, what's going to happen is my friend's going to go into a tight end of a job, right? And while he's doing that, we're going to go inside the arena workshop. Well, not arena workshop, but we're going to go inside garage B level one, just like this. So you're going to click on that. Wait for it to load. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then once you get in here, basically you can get in any car you guys want. So I'm gonna just hop in this car right here, and then you're just gonna drive it out of your garage, right? So you're gonna drive straight out. All right. And see, as you can tell, my friend ain't here right now because he's in that mission. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive it right back in. I'm gonna hover over B1. You know what I'm saying? So when I said drive it back in, I just meant towards the garage. Don't actually put it in. And then you're gonna go to the online tab just like this. You're gonna go to players. You're gonna go to your friend's name, the one that's in the job. You're gonna hover hover over the uh, join game. And then basically what you guys are gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna press X options and then spam X. But like I said, it's all about timing. So just make sure you hit the timing right. So literally when I say press X, then options and then spam X, I literally mean it like a second apart, press X and then press options. So I'm gonna show y'all what I, what I mean right now. Just like that just keep spamming it keep spamming x and then you should come back kind of see like a green screen just like that you're gonna press triangle and then you, you should be falling down you're gonna land on the ground with no mini map all you got to do is just kill yourself and like i said if you guys see a mini map when you try to do it or get frozen that means you just did a failed attempt and you got to do it again but just like i did right there i did it first try so now all my friend has to do is just take me to the trading spot and we're gonna show you guys exactly what you gotta do next. But um, yeah, so if you don't have a mini map right now, that means you did it right. Go ahead and pat yourself on the back. You know what I'm saying? You're doing it right. So all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my friend's car. I'm trying not to die by the issy, you know what I'm saying? All right. So he's gonna go ahead and take us to the spot. But if y'all don't know where the spot's at, it's over here by the gun store. I always go by this gun store as a reference. But this is basically where the trading spot's at, right here in this area. That's where he's taking us right now. But I'm gonna literally teach you guys everything. Like, I'm gonna teach you guys how to get the mini map back, all that. Like, you can get the mini back. I mean, I can't even talk. You can get the mini map back and still do the glitch. A lot of people don't realize that, but yes, if you get your mini, ba uh, mini map back, you can still do the glitch. So, I'm gonna show you guys that now. I'm gonna show you all that. So, y'all make sure y'all stay tuned, man. Watch the whole video. No cap. Alright, so once you get to the spot, you're going to come over here to this little house right here. You know what I'm saying? And then once you get here, you're going to have at least one of your friends come to the wall with you on this side. So I'm going to wait for him to get right here. Alright, and then you're going to go in first person. You're going to look at this wall. You know, hold your interaction menu. Go to services. You're going to go to mobile operations center. You're going to request your mobile operations center. Press the pause menu and just wait until you see it spawn. And now, the way I'm doing it, it should spawn behind me. It should spawn right behind me. But if it doesn't, then that's okay. See, it didn't. It spawned over here. So that means we gotta go over here to go get it. So me and my friend about to go get it right now. Oh. Oh, you died by the issy. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that in there too, man. <laughs> that man died by the issy real quick. <laughs> That's what I was worried about earlier. I didn't want to die by the SE either. 
but it happens sometimes, you know. I gotta be careful. All right. All right, good. So now we on the way to my MOC right now. And when we get to my MOC, y'all, I'm gonna show y'all how to get y'all mini map back. So you can see your notifications and mini map. Um, GTA. Alright, so look, basically the way you, you're gonna get your mini map back is you're gonna have your friend go to the back of your MOC. He's gonna literally just sit in the back of it. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean now. So you see how he's running over here? He's gonna get in the back of it, right? And then once he's in the back of it, you're gonna come up to this blue circle and then just press circle, that's it. And then walk away, and just like that, your mini map and notifications should be back on screen. Right, and then he's gonna go ahead and take my MOC to the next spot and I'm gonna take the car and follow him. And by next spot, I mean uh I mean the trading spot. Alright, so we're gonna come over here. And we're gonna crash that thing. So I see he's up, you know, he's already at the trading spot. So look, all I'm gonna do is park his SE right here. And he's gonna leave my MOC right there with the back facing forward, right? And now all I gotta do from my part, and basically you guys' part that are watching this video, you're gonna have to go to your mechanic, and you're gonna have to call one of those elegies from the arena um, workshop, or really anywhere, as long as you have a garage. See, I only have arena workshops, because this is my new backup account. But basically what you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to call an elegy, right? And that's how the glitch works. So you're going to use a free car to switch out with any car you want. So I'm literally using a free elegy to get a car that's worth 1.8 million or even some, some of them are like 1.4. But it just depends on what SE you're getting. You know what I mean? If you have friends that have different SEs, you might be able to get them for more of an expensive price. Go ahead and drive up to your friend. Or he can pull up to you as either one. It don't matter and then basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna allow him to go into the pause menu so until you see that it says pause on his screen drive up to the back of your MOC press right on the d-pad and spam the X button he should get out just like that go ahead and back up and then what you're gonna want to do is you want to get out of your car you're gonna hold down on the d-pad swipe up to Franklin and then press circle and then you're gonna want to go ahead and run over to the MOC again Press enter alone, and then all you guys want to do when you see this black screen is just hold down on the D-pad and swipe up. And if that doesn't work, do it over time. Just keep, you know, swiping up as y'all can hear me doing it. And if it doesn't work from down to up, kind of just moving in a circular uh, motion, a circular motion, and just like that, boom. You just press circle, and you get that pop-up. And just walk over to the car that you want. Press triangle, boom, and just like that, it's your MOC now. So basically the next time he gives me another issy and we're gonna do one more example for y'all just to show y'all you know what i'm saying that's why everybody watching this video to fully understand how to do this you know what i'm saying so he's gonna go ahead and leave his issy right there and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and call another elegy so like i said guys if you have garages anywhere i don't care if it's the ceo garage it don't matter where you know as long as it has elegies in it you will be able to use those elegies to substitute for real cars you know what i'm saying so right now we're going to wait on the elegy to pull up and I'm going to just explain it one more time just for all my people out there that, you know, didn't really get it the first time. Here's a little, you know, little extra footage right here just so you, you know, you can make sure you get it right. So basically, you're going to get in your elegy like I said before. You're going to drive over to your friend. He's going to hop in. Ah, oh, dang, he ran right into that. That is he. This <laughs> man. But yeah, like, basically when he comes back, or I'm going to go, I don't want to do him like that. I'm going to go pull up on him. But yeah, basically he's going to get in your car, and he's going to go straight into pause menus. That's how it works. So your friend always has to be in pause before you drive in the back of your MOC. So just make sure y'all know that. So you're going to drive to that blue circle. 
you're gonna press right on the D-pad, spam X, he's gonna get out of the car just like that. You're gonna back up, get out of the car, you're gonna do the Franklin, press circle, and then boom, you're gonna walk up to the back of the MOC, press enter along, go ahead and swipe the, you know, the little analog and holding down just until you get that pop-up. So I usually do it in like a 360 motion to try to do it fast. See, just like that, it's gonna, it's gonna say, are you sure you want to quit? And you're just gonna press circle. And then you should spawn on the street like this, invisible. And you can go ahead and walk up to the issue you want. I'm gonna go ahead and walk up to this one just cause it's the one we've been using. So just like that, this issue is ours now. And we're gonna go ahead and show you guys what that looks like when you sell it in the store. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one to the store for y'all. Cause hey, this ain't a money glitch if you're not getting no money, right? So I gotta show y'all, man. I gotta show y'all what I'm talking about, man. So I'm basically gonna, just gonna take this issue now straight to the Los Santos Customs and just sell it. That's all I gotta do. But there's a way, a certain way to sell it so you don't get dupe detected. And I'm gonna teach y'all how to do that in this video. So make sure you stay tuned, you know? All right, so you're gonna pull up over here to Los Santos. You gonna basically just hop in the garage like you normally would. But now this is gonna be the twist, y'all. I'm about to show y'all the twist right now. So the twist is this, look. When you come inside, the first thing you gotta do is you gotta go down to the plate. And you see how mine's yellow on black, right? Well, nah, bro. You gotta change that. You gotta change it to blue on white and then change it to another one. And I don't, it could be any plate, y'all. As long as it costs money, that's all that matters. So buy two different plates that cost money. So like if you're one of those GTA players that has a custom plate, don't use that custom plate that's free. Literally buy two different plates that you didn't have before and then go to the sell option. Cause that, that keeps Rockstar, and see this one sells for 1.7 million. So that's gonna help a lot. So that basically keeps Rockstar off your back because what it's doing is it's changing basically the whole tag of your car twice. And they're not going to be able to detect that anymore. So now if I look at my interaction, I just made 1.7 million. And I'm in the interaction and that my money. If I look at my money, I have 1.7 million now. So that's how it works, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on the video. Drop a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if y'all can, man, go ahead and check out my backup channel. I'm going to put a card to the screen right now. Go ahead and check out that backup channel, man. It's going to be on the screen. Like I said, man, we almost at 500 subs on the backup channel. So let's go ahead and run it up, y'all. We almost at 3k on this one, so y'all make sure to subscribe as well.